Hey guys, it's Steph and today we are back at White Castle again and this video is going to be an actual mukbang. The first White Castle video I did a week ago, I just was taste testing it. I just got two burgers. They were super small. But now I know like the size and everything and you guys left me a bunch of comments telling me what to try when I do the actual mukbang. So let's gather our order um, and then we'll pull into the drive through And then also on my Instagram, I asked you guys to... Um, Give me your assumptions that you have about me, and we're also going to be reading those and seeing what you guys think of me. <laughs> we have a comment that says, get the chicken rings next time, so delicious. That comment has a lot of likes, so chicken rings. So like chicken nuggets in the shape of like onion rings? I have no idea. Okay, and then Lisa told me, Steph, next time get mustard on them. They have their well-known brown tangy mustard, so mustard, onion, and pickle is the best. Okay, we will definitely try out that mustard. And then people are saying definitely get cheese next time. Chicken rings with cheese. Okay, lots of people are saying chicken rings. Onion rings and mozzarella sticks, onion rings, fries, and a milkshake. Okay, so <laughs> we got a good variety of requests here. Now I'm just going to pull up the menu and screenshot everything I want to get because I keep seeing TikToks. McDonald's is like the main one that does this, but like you'll be like, hi, can I get a chicken nugget meal? And then we're like, okay, is that is that it? <laughs> Anything else? And it's like, yeah, and then can I get a Big Mac? All right, is that it? It's like, no! <laughs> like, I don't know why some workers like do that. It really like pressures you. And then it makes you feel like such a pig ordering more food. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's like, you gotta be like, I have a big order, all for me. There's ice in my drink, I was like, what is that? Mm, that doesn't taste too good, it was in my car. So they have an impossible slider, we're not getting that. The original is what I got the last time. So I need the cheese slider, that's what I meant to order. And then we'll add mustard on that. Ooh, does that say jalapeno? That's a slice of American jalapeno or smoked cheddar cheese. Oh, uh, Jalapeno cheese, okay. And then should we also try the double cheese slider? I feel like that'll be like the perfect size because the main one is so little, so we'll get a double. Okay, should we try the chicken ring slider or the crispy chicken breast slider, which one? I think just the chicken breast because we're gonna get a side of the chicken rings, whatever that is. So we're gonna do the chicken breast. This app is a little wonky. Chicken and waffle slider. Huh. Okay, we'll try that too. Unless that's just like a breakfast item. I'm not sure like how they do this. I know this place is open 24 hours. I'm not sure about now though with COVID, but... Okay, sides. We're gonna do the chicken rings. And then um, let's also do the loaded fries because you know me. It's gotta be loaded. So this has bacon, cheese, and ranch on it. Delicious. We will do the mozzarella sticks with some yummy marinara. And then onion chips or onion rings. Fun, maybe the onion chips since we already have chicken rings. And let's try these mac and cheese bites too. That sounds very, very good. <gasps> okay, someone did leave a comment, I did see it. And it said to get the cheesecake, fudge dipped cheesesteak, fudge dipped cheesecake on a stick. And I used to buy these from the grocery store like in the freezer section, I don't even know if they still have them. I don't know why I stopped buying them. But they were like small little triangles, and it came with brownies and cheesecake, and they have both of those. And that was so good. Mm, I love cheesecake. So we're going to get that as well for some dessert. I think we have our whole order. Got a lot of stuff this time. <laughs> okay, let's go order this. I'm at a different White Castle this time. And I saw lots of comments that were like, ew, White Castle is only good like when you're drunk. But I thought it was so good. But also people say the same about like McDonald's and Taco Bell and Taco Bell. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it tastes better when you're drunk, but it's still good, sober. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a little ambiance look. It's all snowy. There is a line at this one. The one I went to the other day didn't have a line, but very snowy day. I'm honestly really surprised how busy it is here right now. Even someone's behind me. It's Tuesday at 12 o'clock, so. Oh, I almost just passed where you ordered. It's 
Chile. Turn my heated seat on. These guys are the best snack ever. Hi, can I do two cheese sliders? Alright. With one with the American cheese and one with the jalapeno cheese. Okay. And then can I do a double cheese slider? Alright. A crispy chicken slider. Uh, the chicken and waffle slider. Um, the... Uh, what was between the double cheeseburger and the chicken and waffle, sir? Uh, the, just the crispy chicken breast slider. Okay. And then, can I do the chicken rings? Okay. Loaded fries. Uh, mozzarella sticks. Uh, the onion chips. Mac and cheese bites. And the uh, fudge dipped cheesecake. And then could I also just get like a couple sides of the mustard, ketchup, and ranch. Okay. And then just a cup of water too, or a bottle of water is fine. Bottle of water, okay. Yep, and that'll be it. 2182. Okay, thank you. Yep. See, now that there was an amazing worker. Didn't rush me at all. He was just like, okay, okay, okay. And I was like, and this, and this, and this. Like, once they say, like, is that it? It's like, that's not even half of my order. I am so ashamed. <laughs> I ordered so much food. Going for the more natural look today. I honestly, like, woke up at, like, 10, and then I was about to start driving home. But I was like, you know what? While I'm in Columbus still, I might as well do my full-on mukbang. Because I know, sorry, some of you guys got a little angry in my other one. Like, why'd you only order two things? I only had a little bit of time. And when I have any time to film a video, even if it's like a quick video, I love doing it. Like, you know, it's just fun. And I wanted to try it. And sometimes I'm not in the mood to eat a whole bunch of food. You know, I'm sure you guys feel the same way. Especially if, like, the night before you ate, like, crap. And then you just kind of want to, like, eat a little bit better the next day. Like home-cooked meals and fruits and all that. Not eat fast food, but today I was feeling it. <laughs> I was really feeling it. And I do have sunglasses, actually. <laughs> Look at my center console. Cheese stick, these are the best kind. I like the craft. I am really such a craft girl. Craft uh, mac and cheese, mm, Velveeta, no, sorry. <laughs> and then the craft, like, orange square cheeses does that look better those are like the best snack ever so good I really want like a cute picture stay in front of the White Castle sign holding a cute little White Castle burger if there's a sign in the back that looks just like that one I am doing it that would be such a cute picture for Instagram but like I don't I'm not like done up. But I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Nope. I worked out yesterday really hard and I am so sore. It's probably like, usually when I work out, I just like go on the treadmill for like 30 minutes or so on like a high incline, which that really helps a lot and like gets you really sweaty. So I usually just do that and then maybe a few sit ups, push ups, and like crunches and squats but like not really with weights or anything yesterday I went ham <laughs> and I am sore and like honestly that was like a lot of fun and I like how I'm sore like that's just like like I kind of like the feeling of being sore because like you know like you actually like worked out good so that was actually fun I actually want to keep doing that I just don't want to go to an actual gym because I don't want people to look at me and I don't want to talk to people <laughs> like I just feel uncomfortable like working out with like a bunch of people I don't know and like being stared at and all that jazz. I swear there was a jalapeno burger unless someone meant the jalapeno cheese. Oh my god, that sounds so good because I don't see one with just jalapenos on it. At least on the menu on their website. I see like bacon and just like chicken and fish and then that's like it. 
maybe it's the jalapeno cheese, which, oh, I bet I'm gonna love that. Oh, their breakfast looks good too. I didn't even like notice that they had that. I forgot to get a milkshake. Well, it's okay. I'm not even a huge fan of milkshakes anyways, but would have been fun to try. Okay guys, I stopped the camera because it was like kind of taking a while, but now we are ready. Hi, good, how are you? Good. Oh, the sun's so bright. Okay guys, I just got the food. I stopped filming because I was afraid like my camera battery will get low because it was kind of taking a while but he told me sauces are in the bag and there's a fork so I hope he gave me honey mustard I didn't ask for it but if not it's okay because we got like ranch and the other mustard maybe that is their honey mustard technically but okay let me park okay guys we are ready to get started and unbox what we got so, we will see how good White Castle is with remembering things because I ordered a lot. So, we got ketchup, ketchup, mustard, ketchup, ranch. Okay, so looks like everything I asked for. I wish I ordered honey mustard, but it's okay. Wow, they give me a ton. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got the mac and cheese bites. From Sheets, they used to have Mac and Cheetos. That was like my favorite thing ever, but they got rid of them. Little mozzarella sticks, ooh, those look really freaking good. Really good. We got one cheeseburger with, it looks like the jalapeno cheese. And then we got, ooh, the double cheeseburger. That looks really good. And then our other cheeseburger with the cheddar cheese. So we got three burgers and lots of sides. I could probably eat like six of those burgers, if not more. <laughs> Looks like the onion petals. Um, and here, chicken and waffles, I'm guessing. Oh my god, our little cheesecake is so cute. Fudge dip cheesecake. And then we got our fork with our loaded fries. Let's check what these look like out. Oh yes, look. Mm, that looks so good. I like this tray, easy to open. And then, oh yeah, the chicken a slider. And another chicken slider. Did he? This one's chicken ring slider, but I think he thought I ordered two of those. Did I not say the right thing? I swear I said an order of the chicken rings. That was like the most requested item too, but they did not give me those. <laughs> Let's see if we get a cheese pot. I'm gonna try and take my thumbnail, which I'm not really a fan of how this is looking. Do it like that, mm, that looks better. Seems like people like it when I leave the thumbnail part in, so I'm gonna leave all this, all this in. Yeah, that looks way better. You can see all the food. Can't believe they forgot the chicken rings. Let's open up this one. I'm curious what this looks like, too. Ooh, this is so cute. Look at that. Little waffle. Okay, for the thumbnail, I'm going to try and get a cheese pool. Mmm. Mmm. No marinara? No. You guys know me, I'm the biggest sauce person ever, so. We'll dip in ranch. Mmm. That tastes a little weird, but. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to like rearrange this camera angle a little bit. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's try this double cheeseburger. Cool. 
quite tasty. Mmm. The cheese definitely makes it better. These packets are always so impossible. To, oh, I got it. Woo, I was going to say. I don't want to have to use my mouth, but <laughs> sometimes that's all you can do. Let's try this mustard. Mmm. Ooh, yeah, whoa. Really strong tasting. Okay. I can't believe I didn't get the chicken rings. <laughs> okay, let's start checking out your guys' assumptions. Oh, water is so good. What brand is this, Nestle? This is a good brand, I like that water. This assumption says you did not finish high school. I did finish high school, actually a whole year early. I'll put in my picture of me and my gown right there. <laughs> I hated school. I was not the smartest cookie, but I graduated early. So that's exciting. I did online school over the summer and finished up a whole year. I only had like three more credits I needed, which was just like English science and math. Yeah, trigonometry, that's what I took. Let's try these fries. But I graduated um I believe it was 2018. See it confuses me because it's like I graduated a year early, so it's like what year actually was it? I think it was 2018. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because 2018 I should have been like a senior going into 2019. I would have turned 18 before senior year, which is actually like pretty old. Like I was like kind of old for my grade. Like most people, there were some people that like I'm friends with that are like two years younger than me only for like a few months, you know, but like I would have been 18 and there were some people I knew that were still 16, about to be 17. But I was older for my grade and um, yeah, so Mmm, those fries are so good. I used to hate bacon. Isn't that crazy? Let me turn this heat off. <laughs> oh no, I'm being messy. I've been so messy recently. I don't know what's happened. Um, <laughs> you don't have a lot of friends, but you don't care and you're very happy with your life. Um, yeah, I definitely have a small circle of friends that have been my best friends since... Um, some for like my whole life since kindergarten and then some for like from middle school or from beginning of high school I've had the same friend group um, that is very true and I'm completely happy with that I see them all the time and we always just hang out in our small group and then I also have some like other people that are like I'm close with and like cool with but like I wouldn't just be like hey wanna go get Burger King real quick or like hey wanna just go get a milkshake or hey I need to go to Target I wanna come with me like that I would ask like my close friends I'd probably say five close best friends that I talk to every single day so yeah I'm very content with that um and happy I have the bestest friends ever You don't care what people think of you. I mean, oh my god, my camera's gonna die. Are you serious? I knew it. This camera is horrible. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. My camera died. I knew that was gonna happen. And I only filmed one video with that battery the other day. Like a 20, 30 minute video. I knew I should have brought an extra battery with me, but and now I can't do my assumptions. Mmm. Whoa. I love mac and cheese. But when me and Nick were in high school together, we would like bicker and fight because like 
sometimes I would talk to his friends and he didn't like that and yeah but now no we get along great ever since he would like help me help manage me like we worked together a little bit for like a whole year actually maybe longer you know he would do the calls for me and then call me and tell me what they said we'd text all day basically because there'd be so much stuff to discuss he helped me with my merch and so much more so yeah we get along really good now we actually i feel like are very similar with our personalities and um, that's why we get along great like i cannot wait until i'm 21 in like four months and i could just like because he lives in cleveland so i could just like go visit him and like grab some drinks at like a bar or something like i think that would be so fun okay this one looks like the jalapeno cheese one i'm guessing let's try this out does have a little a slight kick at the end i was like waiting for it i'm like hmm, what do i really taste right now i love how soft these buns are is the phone camera quality better oh this is a little spicy okay i love this one Mm-hmm. okay I'm going to try and remember some of the other assumptions I was reading. There was one that said that I'm spoiled. Um, I spoil myself. Ooh, this is spicy. Um, growing up, uh, I definitely think my parents gave me and Nick, like, the best childhood and everything. Got us, like, gifts we wanted for our birthdays, Christmas, and... We got money for like holidays and stuff and then they would take us to like Toys R Us and we could pick out whatever we wanted and we got to like choose like restaurants we wanted to go to sometimes and all that and then but as we got older me and him both bought our own cars um we both well I'm talking like when we were 16 but it's not like just me it was both of us how they raised us once we both got jobs which as you guys know some of you might I worked at McDonald's for a little bit, only a couple months, but, um, then I was, I was, I've been doing YouTube for like so long. So then I was doing that, but paid for my own car insurance for like as long as I've had my car, my phone bills. I buy my phone. I basically buy everything like I should. I'm 20. I don't expect them to do that. And I've been doing that for a long time. So I don't think I'm spoiled. I spoil myself. So yeah. <laughs> like I love treating myself with a meal like this or a hoodie I want or a new makeup palette and stuff like that it's fun it makes me happy <laughs> but yeah here what have I not tried these onion petals and this waffle sandwich too let's check this out Oh, that's a little spicy. Okay, onion petal. It's that taste again. Okay. Hang on. I have, like, makeup all underneath my eyes. I didn't even realize... Sorry, I look like a raccoon. Okay, these I don't really like. Okay. I need to tell you guys something. So, it's that taste. Okay. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Ever since I had COVID, some foods taste like everything bagel seasoning. You know, it's like that strong taste. Everything but the bagel and all that. Certain foods taste literally just completely like that seasoning. And I don't know if COVID did something to my taste buds. I have no idea. 
but that tastes just like the seasoning. I had meatloaf the other day and it just tasted like that seasoning. It was honestly like, like kind of gross because it's like, why does it taste like this? Only certain things do, like this stuff doesn't, but that does. Does anyone else have that issue? I know people were saying that they just like taste like a rotten taste in their mouth and it's been like happening for months after. I'm still in like my three month range. Um, uh, I had it Thanksgiving around that time and then I lost my taste for like two, three weeks until it fully came back and maybe two weeks. It was the smell that didn't come back for a while, but <laughs> this is so cute. I got this, um, someone put this on their store the other day and tagged me, but like hid my name off to the side. So they like, you couldn't see who he was talking about, but wanted me to see, he wanted me to see it. He put on his story. Oh my God. There's just this one YouTuber that I hate that I watch that I hate so, so much. She goes to Chipotle on, only orders cold things in her burrito rice is not cold chicken is not cold i don't know what you're talking about and all she did was complain that the food was cold even though she got there right at the time it was ready like god i can't stand her and put that on their story just like typed it out and i saw it because i always look at like things people tag me in you know and i was like i wanted to swipe up and message them and say like why are you watching me then <laughs> it's like the thing is Everything someone says in a YouTube video, people take so seriously. Like, people, it's just a fact. It's cold. What, am I going to lie and tell you guys, oh, this is the best burrito I've ever ate. It's so good. Like, if it's cold, I'm going to tell you it's cold. Just like if you bought your food, you Uber Eats it or something, you're like, oh, it's cold. It's like, okay, you're not hating on them. It's just like, okay, you need to warm it up. But when you're in the car, you can't warm it up. People get so offended what influencers, like, post, I swear. <laughs> And it's just like, I don't get it. I've never like hated on a social media person ever, ever. <laughs> like what? I just find that so weird. Spread positivity, my Lord. This is good. I really like this one. It would be good with some butter. I love getting chicken and waffles at restaurants. I usually eat them separate though. Speaking of waffles, I got this cutest candle ever and it has like a waffle on the top. It smells just like waffles. It's so cute. I made a TikTok about it because I was like, I've never seen cuter candles. One with like Lucky Charms in it. Or Fruit Loops. I don't know why I always think it's Lucky Charms. I'm really bad at my cereal names. I feel like they all sound so similar. And um, a coffee one, a birthday cake one, and the candle literally looks like it has a scoop of ice cream with sprinkles on it, and it looks so real. I love it. I love it. Ooh. God, I love cheese. Which, I know you guys always make fun of me when I say, is this healthy? Cheese, I feel like, is, like, kind of healthy. <laughs> because, like, keto, keto diets, like, they can eat cheese people who do that diet and like bacon and stuff it's just like in moderation but i eat my whole diet's like cheese <laughs> i love cheese and carbs and i always get questions and they're like how do you keep your skin clear when you're eating all this dairy well water that is literally the key water 
and most people I feel like maybe drink two cups of water a day. I drink like 15, even maybe more. <laughs> like, I yeah, probably like 20. Like water bottles, let's say this is probably two cups of water maybe. Shoot, I don't, I don't remember the ounces and all that specific stuff. I'd probably drink 10 of these. And one day, I love water. And once you get on like that habit of drinking it all the time, then when you don't have water, you like feel gross and you're like, oh, I need water. Like I've only peed today like three times. Like no, you need to be flushing out those insides like every hour. Maybe not that much. <laughs> That would be annoying. Oh, I didn't even think about this. I have a two hour drive home. And I'm drinking so much water. I feel like there's not enough places to use the bathroom. Do you guys agree? Like, I forget where I was. Oh yeah, I was um, like at like a shopping plaza outside. And, like, I would ask, I'd be like, can I use your guys' bathroom? They'd be like, no, you gotta go over to, like, Starbucks. I was like, why can I use the bathroom? I had to go so bad. But, like, on the highway, especially if you're driving through, like, country land, which is Ohio, then, so what's on here? Yeah, I feel like there's nowhere to go to the bathroom. And then you're not allowed to go to the bathroom outside either, which, honestly... I don't understand why. As long as, like, you're hidden, like, behind something. I guess that's kind of gross. Yeah, I guess that's gross. Especially if you just see someone going. <laughs> yeah. I like the chicken rings better than the patty. Yeah. Yeah. But this one's a chicken patty. Yeah, I need to try this cheesecake. So cute! Look at it. This looks like just like the ones I used to buy at the store. Mmm. Chocolate covered anything is so good. Chocolate covered bananas. Those are like my all time favorite. Chocolate covered like fruits, blueberries, cheesecake. It's also good. Okay. I am full though. But that was fun. You know, it was a lot of fun. I'm really mad my camera died. I knew it was going to happen too. I feel like it's because I left it on too long in the drive through Oh, well. But, oh, I never even ate this one. Okay, well, perfect. Because last time I came to White Castle, my dad was like, oh, lucky. Like, you didn't bring me home anything. I'm like, oh, no. Oops. So I can bring him home that. And since I only took one bite out of the chicken one, my mom likes like chicken sandwiches better than like regular burgers. She can eat that. Wonderful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang today. Look at all this food. Oh my gosh. I basically tried like the whole menu. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.